welcome back to Sound of Motors channel. Right, uh, we've got today 2010 uh, Ford uh, S Max, yeah, S Max with a two liter EcoBoost engine. It was the engine management light on. It, it basically done a scan diagnostic, come up with the timing correlation issue, which would su uh, suggest to us there's a problem with the timing chain. Is more likely stretched and then uh, alters the timing slightly and then that's um, we've got to go ahead to do the timing chain on this vehicle and that's what we're going to be doing today right EcoBoost I didn't even know they had the 2010 they had EcoBoost engines right but to do that sort of a job you must have this tool if you don't have this tool you won't be able to do the job Simple as that. Okay. Right. Let's take all of that off. When you take the wipers off, make sure you know which way, which one goes above the another. If you don't do it in the correct way, so obviously this one sits above the passenger side. If you don't do it correct way, then when you turn the wipers, they'll just tangle up. That's one. All the clips are missing. One clip. <laughs> There's supposed to be one, two, three, four, five, six of them, and only one on the car. Right, now I've got more room at the top.
Oh, now we've got a bit more room.
Alright, let's get this out. Right, rocker cover is off. Feel too bad there. Right, we need to take this uh, fuel pump off as well. Right, now we've got access to the timing marks. There's the one timing slot, and there's another timing slot. Okay. Now we need to start stripping the front of it. Jack it up. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. I might actually take the wheel off. Normally I try not to, but I'll take it off today. Okay. Let's do the engine mount.
Okay. Oh, that seems to mount out. Take a picture of dry belt and that way I'll have to guess where it goes. This there must be him for him on this one. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, it's getting there. Mm -hmm.
Oh, that's a belt tensioner out. Oh, and the belt. And the water pump sprocket. start become more and more bare right them two bolts that goes into the front cover and that bolt goes to the front cover so that means I have to reposition the power steering pump that bolt can come out but the bottom one How much? No, no, that doesn't. Yeah, the bottom one is covered by the power steering pump. And so I have to undo the power steering pump, move it out of the way to get to this bracket bolt. Don't see too many hydraulic power steering pumps any longer. All electric nowadays. Yeah, we're not going to disconnect it. We're just going to undo it. So all the hoses stay on. Water pump doesn't have to come out, but it's exposed, so if you have any doubts about the water pump now is the time to change it it doesn't look too bad it's not got any coolant leak or not suffering with coolant loss so we're gonna leave it but it would be ideal to change it now it's only driven by the normal auxiliary drive belt so it's not nothing to do with the timing chain or belt so no need to do it Oh, that's out. Need 
two bolts are out. I might take this bracket completely actually, like more room. bit better next let's get this engine timed up and then I can try to remove the front crank pulley So that can go. Now that's the hole where the timing pin goes into. Just there. I have to take this plug out like normal forward plug for the timing belt okay. Need to turn the engine slightly, not engine, I need to put the neutral. Have a grip on it. <laughs> Not in where it's supposed to be.
Let's have a look if they match up at all or not. Basic idea, and that goes all over like that. And that is, oh yeah, so we can't need the other one. That's for a different engine. in the right place. Right. And that's timing in here. timing. The timing is chain is a bit slack because I can move that camshaft quite easily there and back. I shouldn't be able to do that. Just it's a bit of a persuasion.
Okay, timing tool is in. The bottom is in. Drop things in down slightly. And that timing tool does not line up a bit. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't quite line up. Almost lines up, but this doesn't. So the camshaft is uh, set up with the crankshaft, two camshafts and a crankshaft set, but the crankshaft pulley, that bolt is supposed to go in that thread, but you have to really push it, if you push it over very hard to the right, then maybe it will go in. On the, oh, but, so it's slightly out. We don't need to do it yet, because we need to take it off, obviously. Take it all apart. Let's see if it's going to come undone. It'll come out quite easily. It's a stupid idea with this free, free floating pulley. What's wrong with the flipping keyway? made it so much simpler right now engine timed up so all we need to do take the front cover off and expose the timing chain ah oh, to be honest I should have really drained the oil so I just hope it's not to the level where the bottom of the cover is if it is then We'll have, a, we'll have a bit of a flood. I know we're changing the oil anyway, so we should have really drained the oil first. But I haven't. for them too small to make a difference well. okay let's take the top bolts off now
Ooh. I think that's all the little ones are out. Let's start taking all the big bolts out. Well, biggish. Same, good. Should be maybe a third one. Oh yeah, there is something there. Oh, tiny little nut to start with. Let's see if there's any more. I don't feel any more, but the potentially that could be it. Let's try to undo the cover. Well, I'm going to put all the tray underneath just in case if oil level is higher than that. Just in case. Right. Oh, looks like that was it. I still don't know the purpose of this bolt. I haven't done it, but it's not actually, it's going right through, but not actually holding anything. I understand this is the plug, so you can probably access the tensioner, but I don't know. It's gonna, silicon on them on here so maybe somebody has had it apart before oh, the oil level was okay yeah it didn't come out oh that's good yeah it didn't fancy being flooded with oil well engine is timed up so we can uh, take everything apart then.
Has a tension around. This is something on pain or something. One of the guides. The chain itself. The lower stock is free spinning. Take this top off as well, top guide. Oh, no, no, Now that's the top, I mean, right guide. And a uh, fine little, little, uh, little guide at the top. I'm not sure if there's a chunk missing on it or it's supposed to be like that. Uh, maybe it's supposed to be like that. Let's get it off. Okay, top guide. Let's see what we've got in our box of tricks. It feels heavy. I think there's a possibility it might have came with a might have come with a VVT sprocket. That one, two guides, a silicon, oh, a tensioner, and sprocket. Looks a bit different from the one I've got on the car, but. ones oh the, the see it's totally different I mean the shape of them the same but the chain different see the chain is uh, that's a skinny chain this is for the fat chain so that's what probably it came with the, all the different uh, uh, things okay Hmm. A shim. I 
that the same though. No, they're slightly. This one is slightly different from that, but. Yeah, they're slightly different. See, all them things are different. Six, six. Triple chain. Ooh, it's gonna go. Mm -hmm. So it's a bigger chain. bigger chain it's got three to four links for well, this one this has only got two three four three four hmm. so it looks like maybe they had issues with them and they modified it that's why that is different no we don't I assume that goes to the uh, oil pump, not to the normal chain, but I wonder where that spring shim goes to, because at the moment, the shim is going between that sprocket and the oil pump sprocket. Yeah. Obviously, the, the new one is one piece. Dilemma. How do you solve this dilemma? off good oh it's come off okay that's the oil pump spoke it off oh that's another shim okay I assume the shim is gonna go on the at the back end then We don't need to all the no it's all it's all good now all right i need to get some bed cleaners it covers up the hole nicely yeah that should be fine yeah it covers the hole just like Yeah, all covers up, so 
So this should be good. Is so skinny in comparison to this one, which is purely oil filled. Well, this one has got a ratchet. This one got some sort of a ring instead. Oh well. Just gonna put the oil pump chain back on. That's if it's gonna fit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like the oil pump chains fit. <laughs> okay. But slightly prob slight problem. Because the whole pump chain doesn't fit. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see the difference. Here's the old setup. We've got the shim, and we've got the old sprocket. That's how it was before. Obviously, oil pump fits nicely. And this oil pump does not fit nicely. Chain is no problem because you just modify them, but unless they supplied us with the wrong kit, I don't know. Okay. Well, that was fun. Right, I need a phone ring Charlie, see what he wants to do. Hi, right, we're we carrying on with our two litre Ford S Max, that's it. Two litre EcoBoost petrol. We finally got our parts. Yeah, it, was a, it was a bit of a nightmare getting the parts in the end. We got everything from the main dealer. So now we've got a oil pump chain set and a top uh, and a normal uh, timing chain kit with all the guides and tensioner right now we're gonna start with the oil pump because the oil pump goes to the fur at the at the back obviously you can see that's all our old parts the new parts m most of the new parts are here but we are more interested in the, this bit at the moment oil pump sprocket uh, managed to undo it we weren't sure if that's a left hand thread or right hand thread it's very sharp almost cutting my finger uh, cutting my gloves so right it's got a little slot there so it can only go in one way so nice and simple right i won't be doing it up yet because uh sometimes the new chain won't go on right now so you've got the two two sprockets this is your timing chain this is your oil pump one okay oil pump chain i don't know it might go on it might not go on that's it. It's on now. I've got a, a tensioner. We've got a guide. Let's find the old guide. Old guide. It goes this way. Because it's very easy to you can swap it around, they look very similar. But they're not. Okay. 
that's why I generally keep the bolts in the old guide so you, you don't mix up this uh, which way around does it go I can put actually all from sprocket bolt back in Right, that's the oil pump chain is on. Right, that spring hooks over that bolt up there. You can see it's a spring loaded. I just need to do them up. Then four bolts. Pump is on. With a dot point pointing towards us. And another shim. Right, here's your timing pin. As you can see it butts against, you can see through the block, it hits against the crankshaft. So if you so you move the crankshaft back a bit, see, and then dong, it, it hits the pin, and that's where the top dead sensor is. So that means that our um, timer at the, at the bottom is all good. Now I'll check the timing of the top. As you can see, our tool is inserted still. So our uh, camshafts are all timed up, both of them. Now we can slide the new chain on. that on right let's find the two and that one is from here that is from the end.
That just slides on. I mean, I washed everything already, but really. Let's do this tension the rope. Tensioner. Right, well that timing is done. So the camshaft timed up, the crankshaft timed up. Obviously we can't turn it over because the bottom pulley is uh, free spinning. So we can't do anything about it. So what we can do now is um, clean it up and put the front cover back on. Well, I've cleaned up most of it already last time. Just need to finish, freshen up a bit. Clean that off as well. Put a bit of a blow gun on it just in case. Now it's the fun part. Try to put the cover in without smearing it all over the engine. Smearing the silicone all over the engine.
Well, that's the front cover on. So while we're doing everything else, the silicone will have a chance to dry off. So now we can put this front, uh, like a bracket, bracket on here. Right, what I'm going to do is put the actual crank pulley back on and then I'll think about the what happened to the power steering bolts see the bits I remember Right, let's pop the crank pulley back on and then we'll be done with timing Need our timing tool back. I need this tool. I need this bolt. Now we need to line up these holes. We've got a one little hole here and one big hole. One little hole, one big hole. So they need to fit. There you go. And then all the assembly lines up with this uh, crank sensor holding bolt hole. That one. That's all lines up. Okay, now we fit this tool. There's a dot on the on the crankshaft pulley, so that little slot goes over the dot. Now crankshaft sensor can line up as well. Right, 
Now we can undo this timing tool. That's bottom timing tool out. time. Well, it's close to the point. Let's pop the crankshaft pin it back in. Right, the pin is in. That fits perfect. The camshaft or oh, crankshaft position sensor timing tool goes in perfect. And it goes in perfect as well. Right. Timing is perfect this time round. Right now, we can remove all the timing tools on permanently. Oh, it's difficult to get this one out, but it's out. Put the plug back in. Right. It's the bottom one on. The power steam pump back on. Then pump back on. Water pumps, pocket pulley. Tensioner back on. And the tensioner needs to go with the belt.
Right. That's the tensioner on. Now we need to find the belt diagram. Here's the belt diagram. Okay. And that's it. That's the belt on. Lovely job. Engine mount back on. Before they do the engine mount, I want to put this lower turbo hose back on because it's in an awkward place. So I might have to get engine up and down a bit to get it in. Now I need to jack the engine up because the drive shaft is actually hitting the this pipe. It's a good job I didn't put the engine mount back in yet. Now I've got extra room. Done up. Now we're ready for the engine mount. is on. Now it's time to put the rocker cover back on then. Silicone in the corners. And the joints in the corners. Right. Pull the jack out. I don't need that. And dump the oil. Just dump the oil. The roll fields are done. Now we're back on.
a second. That's the fuel pipe on. Okay, now put the air box there. Let's see. 
Okay. Right, now I need to do these holes up. It goes to here. Let's see if that one goes here. Yep. Yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I've been thinking uh, we have to wait until the, the other car. If I get out, we can wait for the This one is too, too long. Right, that's that done. Air hose is back on. Clipped in, clipped in. Clipped in. I think we're all clipped in. That's melted. Mm. <laughs> Don't know if it had that battery box or not. I'll have a look. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Mm. Mm. I'm not sure. I have to check the vehicle first. Can you leave it for the, until uh, after next Monday? I found one of them. I had one before. Now I'll have two. Mm. One you found for <laughs> Yeah, in the corner. So now I've got two. Okay, good. Now we need to put the wabash. Hmm? In the boot, we've got one screw left on the under tray. I don't know which one up, which one down. Oh, you said this one is up. Yeah, I had a, I was, had a bit of a conversation on the thing. When you take it off, make sure this one it goes over the top. If you don't, it'll go and all go and tangle up. So I need to go down a bit. Okay. Let's try to do them up now. So nice having all the sockets back. See, it might need to come off still, but at the moment it's okay. No more drizzling.
Let me touch on it yet. Fill up with fuel. See, it's good when it doesn't start straight away. It means it's uh, primed with oil with a starter. Because if it starts straight away, it starts the engine of oil temporarily. So when you crank it a few times, it is actually starting more to prime the engine with oil. Getting quieter and quieter. No leaks. You can get to that clamp from underneath. The one I've had to struggle from the top, you can get from underneath. Easier. Yeah, it looks nice and clean. Not leaky. Right. I'll just turn it off and then um, put it there. Everything, all the mud flap back in, put the wheel back on, drop it on the floor, check the oil level. The main thing, we'll check the oil. Uh, for the engine management in a minute. The engine management is not on, but I'll uh, plug it in. Wiper's good. I'm doing a full diagnostic again. Oh, steering lock column, steering column lock. That's nothing to do with what we did. We did the engine management, which is a PCM. No fault codes. No engine management. Lovely job. Let's clear them anyway. That's all cleared. Excellent. Engine engine running. We'll just take it for a drive. And if it's all good, we'll just park the car up, up on the road. Otherwise, all good. Timing chain is done. No leaks detected. Oil is fresh. Oil filter is fresh. New timing chain, new oil pump chain. Looks like virtually a, uh, a new breath of life. There you go. Well, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye for now.